I develop and maintain an e-commerce solution for restaurants and snack bars. And a big part of our solution is to streamline the production process for takeout and delivery orders. At the heart of the production station, we install a tablet and a thermal printer, which will print every incoming order. And this really helps the merchant to keep operations running smooth. We support a wide variety of printers, which all come with their own specs and SDKs. Every printer manufacturer has their own way of implementing specific features. This meant that the receipt printing functionality had to be re-implemented for basically every manufacturer, which is not ideal. On top of that, some printer models of the same manufacturer shipped with different firmware versions. And this led to weird bugs and quirks in the field. Think of it like dealing with cross-browser compatibility issues, but much worse. Most printers implemented some form or subset of the escape POS protocol, which gets its name from the escape character that's used at the beginning of every command. It's invented by Epson and it's broadly used in thermal printers today. Other companies like Star, for example, invented their own language called StarPrint, which is heavily inspired by the escape POS protocol, but just a little bit different. In an effort to reduce the development time, we built a system that would generate a snapshot of an HTML page and send that image to the printer. This removed the hassle of re-implementing the low-level printing specifications for every printer, for example, like changing the font or the font size. It improved consistency and added a great amount of flexibility to the receipts that the merchants could define. We created a small interface that allowed our merchants to design their own receipt, which ultimately rendered HTML and CSS. Our first version wrapped WebKit HTML to image in our monolithic Laravel application. When a request came in, WebKit HTML to image generated an image synchronously. The process of generating this snapshot took around one second and during the time an HTTP connection was held open. At peak times we often ran into the situation where there were over 40 processes of WebKit HTML to image generating snapshots at the same time, eating up our server resources and ultimately causing slowdowns and delays that our customers started noticing. As the amount of orders was growing on our platform, this solution was not sustainable anymore. When faced with these scaling challenges, we decided to change course and migrate to Playwright on AWS Lambda. Playwright had a significant boost in speed over WebKit HTML to image, and we chose for Playwright over Puppeteer because of the easy integration on AWS Lambda. Whenever a receipt was requested, a Lambda spun up a headless browser, took a screenshot of the HTML page, put it on an S3 bucket, and then return a URL for us that we could feed to the printer. We want to make this transition as transparent as possible for the clients already using it. To do so, we kept our original API endpoint and simply introduced a 301 redirect to our new AWS API gateway. After making this change, we could stop worrying about scaling issues on our online system. The added benefit of the serverless function running Playwright was that the rendering time reduced by about 20%. To achieve this, Playwright required a decent amount of memory and at our peak, we were reaching around 30,000 invocations daily, which resulted in a bill of around 200 euros a month. One of the big drawbacks of this setup was that there is a dependence on the internet connection. When we started the development of our offline first point of sales app, we could not simply integrate this solution because of that dependency. Therefore, we had to make a decision. We could choose to re-implement the low-level APIs for every printer that came with a lot of headaches, or we could figure out a way to generate the images offline. Our point of sales hardware was pretty limiting, so running Playwright offline was really not an option. Luckily, there was a beautiful library called HTML to image that is able to create a screenshot of a DOM node using a canvas element. The way this works is by cloning your specified DOM node in an SVG element using the foreign object. Foreign object is a feature of SVG that allows you to have HTML inside an SVG and your browser is perfectly able to render most of it. This SVG element is then copied onto a canvas node, which can ultimately be copied as an image. We re-implemented our receipt builder module client-side using a templating language called Nunjux. Nunjux made it quite easy to render templates into an HTML string. After this HTML string was rendered, we injected it into its own iframe and we used HTML to image to create a screenshot of this iframe. We could then feed the resulting image to the printer over USB or over local network. And the results were pretty good. 
by cutting out the overhead of a network request and Playwright, we were able to reduce the ticket rendering time by around 40%. Generating a ticket now took less than half a second. The feedback we were hearing from our merchants was great, so we decided to roll out this solution on all our other platforms until we could ultimately shut down our serverless handler and start saving money. The simple fact of generating these images locally saved us over 2,400 euros a year, which greatly outweighs the development effort that was required to implement this. And there you have it. Our journey from battling with printer compatibility issues and scaling challenges into migrating everything to Playwright on AWS Lambda and finally landing on an offline first solution using HTML to image. A journey that not only cut our costs, but greatly improved the performance and reliability of our system. This evolution not only highlights the importance of adapting to new technology, but also showcases how sometimes when taking a step back and looking at a problem from a different angle can lead to new insights and potential cost savings. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.